In this episode, we ask the question, how can scientists track the movement of an invasive species of fish? Hey, Josh Bernstein here. I'm still on the Patuxent River. I'm with Rob Aguilar, and we are working on catfish. We caught a bunch, and we're about to do catfish surgery. Earlier, we caught invasive blue catfish by electrofishing. We're about to learn how they're tagged to monitor their movement. Blue catfish are invasive because they don't originate from these waters. They have no competition, reproduce rapidly, and have the potential for serious environmental harm. The tag to be inserted has an acoustic transmitter, which will send out radio signals to receivers in the water. It is implanted into the body cavity of the fish by making a small incision. But first, we knock the fish out. So step one, anesthesia. Anesthesia, yep. This is our anesthetic. It's a clove oil derivative, which works pretty well knocking fish out. If you get on a toothache, fish, people say put clove oil on it. Mm -hmm. so yep, now yep. We're same, just, similar yeah, idea, same but this is more refined. There are several different fish anesthetics we could use, but uh, most of those can't be used for fish on immediate release. So it'll knock this fish out. We're going to do the surgery, and in theory, it would be OK if someone ate right. this fish. Oh, we got a live one. Feisty. The catfish goes into the clove oil infused water where it stays until it's sedated. Rob, how do you know when they're ready to be uh, operated on? We can look at the level of responsiveness. We can see if it's on its back. Um, if we stuck our fingers around the gills, it won't really respond. And we can look at the sort of ventilation rates. It's fairly slow and shallow. Okay. Because the blue catfish isn't native to the bay, little is known about its habits and movements. By inserting acoustic tags, scientists can study where they go, how long they live, and the types of prey they might be eating. So by putting the tags in it, you can test hypotheses or confirm hypotheses? We could, uh, how, we how could. How they're moving? Yeah, well, we could, it's sort of a natural experiment. We could look at how they move in relation to physical things that we're able to document, you know, temperatures, salinity, yeah. certain events, storms, or or what have you, sort of, and we have an idea of where yeah. they're going. The transmitter signals will be picked up by hydrophones on underwater buoys throughout the bay, which scientists can connect to with computers. After about 10 minutes, the catfish is clearly relaxed. I think it's good to start. OK. Here we go. Where do I put it? Right under the lip. Like oh. in the mouth, or? Yeah, yeah bottom lip. Um, like that? Yeah, just yeah. under the bottom lip. Open wide. The first step is weighing the fish. Does that work? Yeah. Holding up, got it. 1.43 kilograms. Now we measure it. So you're putting uh, anesthesia. Go runs over the gills. Runs over okay. the gills. And are we going to go from uh, tip of the tip snout of the, to the, the snout? end of the tail? Data about the fish's sex, health, weight, and length are recorded. Rob then preps its skin with antiseptic. He then uses a scalpel to cut a lateral incision to reach the abdominal cavity, where the transmitter will be placed. This is an acoustic telemetry tag. So it's going inside the fish. Okay. And that'll be transmitting sound, yep. Through the body of the catfish. Through the body of the catfish. Once the tag is in position, Rob closes the incision with a few stitches, which will eventually absorb into the fish's body. Well, this fish is gonna have an interesting story to tell. Like first I got shocked, floated to the surface. I had a tube put in my mouth. I was anesthetized. I woke up. Now I got this transmitter inside them. All in the name of science. All right. OK, surgery is complete. After surgery, a nylon dart ID tag is inserted under the skin. It has the fish's ID and a phone number, so if the fish is caught, CERC can be notified. All right, recovery tank it is. And they will never remember any of this ever. They should, yeah. <laughs> In the recovery tank, the catfish is monitored and given time to wake up. Come here, my friend. It is then released back into the river from which it came. A few little sutures there. Good to go? You're good to go. Be free! The implanted transmitter will work for two years, sending a signal to a dozen hydrophones circus place throughout the Patuxent River. Data recorded by the hydrophones allow scientists to plot where each tagged fish goes and how fast it is traveling around the bay. As for our original question, how can scientists track the movement of an invasive species of fish? One technique is by using acoustic telemetry tags and dart tags. 
This helps them track where the fish goes, its survival rate, and habitats. This data can help fisheries managers develop plans for managing the invasive blue catfish and reducing its impacts on the bay's food web. Bring in the next patient. <laughs>